what is good guys we are back here today we're gonna do something a little bit different a little bit crazy because I'm gonna be bringing you guys I guess it's called a moto vlog basically I'm gonna be showing you some of the off-road vehicles that we've got um so first off let's just go ahead and get started hit the subscribe button and put a like on this video because uh, it's going to be pretty good. And it's probably going to be pretty fun making it. But we're going to go ahead and get started. And um, for the first one, I'm going to go show y'all my Honda 70 dirt bike. Here it is, Honda 70. Now, you may be saying, bruh, I just think Honda 70 is a little bit small. Yeah, this, this, this is small. This is what I usually ride around. But yeah, it, it's pretty small. Just because... You know, I'm not the biggest dirt bike rider there is. So, like, I didn't really want a new one. So, yeah, here it is. Pretty, pretty cool. Three different gears on it. If you know a lot about Hondas, you can probably tell me more about the dirt bike that I have than I know about it. But, you all side view. Here's what it's like sitting on it. Here you go. So, you got this brake right here. That doesn't work. This is the gas right here. You basically just pull it down. And I'm going to show you all that while I'm riding it. Gas goes in right here. This is the engine stop. If it's in this position right here, uh, you can crank it and crank it and crank it and it ain't going to start. So you push that to stop. Push it down. When it's popped up like that, it means you can run it. You push this down or up to change the gears. Of course, all the engine stuff's down there. The choke is actually right here. Come over here. You have the back brake, which is this thing. Push that down. That's the brake right there. That's actually the only brake that works. And then this thing, this little lever, flick it out. And you push down on it like this right here. That's how you crank it. Um, max speed for this bad boy, you're probably getting about 40 out of it. So, busting, busting. Alright, next vehicle. This one's going to go a little bit faster than 40. And uh, it's a little bit bigger. Okay. This is a Polaris Explorer 400. Now that, this big boy, it's pretty big. This is a farm foiler, I guess you'd say. This has got a front rack, got a back rack with handles on it. It's got a hitch right there. It's actually got a brand new chain that my dad put on there yesterday. It's got this bar right here if you gotta pull something out. And uh, full wheel drive, basically give you a rundown of it real quick. So we got big boy tires off-roading tires on it oil goes right here this thing can actually sit three people on it we have put three people on this thing before so you've got where you crank it you basically pull this here's why let me get up here on it real quick here's why uh so in this box is all the wires and the wires kind of go down into this part then you have the engine under the seat and up on the front and then you have all these buttons and stuff over here well, this would be the thing, you turn it on, and you crank it. Well, rats chewed up all the wires, so now you can't just flick this and it starts. You have to actually hand crank this thing, which is a little aggravating. But, anyway, gas goes right here. Here's the choke on this. That's full, half, and then off. So this stuff doesn't work. The speedometer actually does work. And as you can see, it can get up to about 60 miles an hour. This is gas for a four-wheeler. You push that thing, and that's your gas. Uh, then this is four-wheel drive. Push that in, all-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive is basically all of your tires are spinning at the same time when you push the gas. Over here, we have a whole bunch of buttons and switches that I don't know if they work or not. This is, we actually have both brakes work on this thing. Here's the back brake down here. You push it down. I don't use the back brakes. I just use the front brakes. They're right here. You squeeze this thing right here. There's your brakes. Um, for reverse. So you have high. Push it forward. Pull it back. That's neutral. You wiggle it. It's neutral. That's low gear. Then pull it back. It's reverse. Now to go in reverse, you have to have, you got to push the gas, but you also have to hold this overdrive button. That way when you don't, because if you don't hold the overdrive button, it'll go and then stop. So you got you got to hold that button. And then right here you have the start button, which does not work. 
and then whatever I do not know what this little flat thing is y'all could probably tell me that because I don't know then we have the lights that also do not work because of the rats and then we have engine stop and off that actually does work so if you click it over here it's stopping click it over here it's running so yeah there's this it's got big old places to put your feet so you don't like fly off of there and uh yeah that's this one and uh now for the last one and it is this tiny yamaha 50. um size comparison to me it comes up the handlebars come up past my knees just barely so this thing is small um i would sit on it but probably not the best idea i probably weigh more than this little guy does but this is what my little brothers ride on and even my brother ace is too big for this thing but i'll go ahead and give you a rundown i'm pretty sure yeah there's back brakes on this side front brakes on this side this is actually my start off dirt bike so front brakes back brakes same as the other dirt bike this is go this is your go go juice then we have switch that turns to off and you switch it to start and then you switch it to run once it starts you got gas chokes right here push it all the way over just like the four wheeler to start it it also has one of them lever things that you kick and uh yeah that's pretty much all i know about this thing and uh now we're gonna crank them up ride them around except for this little guy i'm just gonna crank them up and listen to you let it let you listen to it purr one time because it it sounds pretty nice when it's purring and then we're going to ride around the four-wheeler and the dirt bike. So, let's get it. Alright, so first up, we're going to make this little, uh, motorcycle. motorcycle, yeah. It's actually a dirt bike, but we're going to listen to it purr one time. Switch to start, and kick it about 300,000 times. Half the time it doesn't want to run when the choke is on, but now we're going to turn it off. And there we go. <laughs> Alright, now, Asa, we're going to... Ace is just going to drive it around and uh, you can see how small it really is. Good job. Alright, crank it up. We'll see what you got. It is pretty fast. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically that. You, your max speed on that bad boy is probably about... Your max speed on that thing is probably about 25 miles an hour. That's about all you're getting out of it. Hey. Hey. Alright. So now, we're going to go to our little testing facility. Which is basically, we're going to go to the driveway, which is basically where we're going to take all of our uh, motorized vehicles. We're going to go to the driveway, and we're going to drive them all the way down and burn them out, see how fast they can go. So, first up, we're going to take Ace's dirt bike, and he's going to start up there, he's going to burn it all the way down, we're going to get him going by us. So, here he comes right now. Alright. I'm going to stand right up here, and then we're going to go. Technical difficulties. It went dead, Ace had to recrank it. But here we go. Alright. Ready, set, go!
<laughs> all right so yeah it's pretty it's pretty slow takes it a while i mean it might get 25 going down the hill <laughs> but now it's time to crank up our next vehicle okay now we're going to crank up my dirt bike which i can actually ride so come over here usually we have to kick this thing about once or twice Dang, look at this thing hurt. Alright, so we're gonna let this thing warm up a little bit and then we're actually gonna whip it around in the woods a little bit and uh, y'all gonna come. Grand finale. Full All right, let's go. Remember, turn your gas on. Let's go.
I don't know what he's fixing to do. He said he was going to drift, but I don't think he can. Oh, man. Good. Creep. I got hit right in the face. A dirt gob. I should have wore a face mask or something. I got nailed. What is he doing? What are you doing? Why'd you drop through there? Sure. Where? Firewebs in his face. Yeah, I got some firewebs all over this. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe. And then uh, comment down below if you got any more ideas. But uh, I think we're going to whip these bad boys around a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so make sure you hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time.